Well, people, let me give you a rundown. Tonight, what we've got on the YouTube tonight is uh, we're going to get back into the dump trailer. And we made quite a little bit of progress today. Um, let's just take a look at it. So, as you see, I've got the bottom uh, frame, the rectangle, built. I did put some triangle gussets in the corners just to kind of keep it square until all the other cross pipes are in it. Um, I do have a variety of tools out. Um, right now I've just got an inch and a sixteenth pin holding in here and an actual pipe over there. I'm um, going through there, lining it up. As you can see, um, I really think that adding those angle irons to the actual pipe is going to help where it hinges. We've got everything here welded in. What I did was I cut this pipe here. I, I notched it over so that this covered the end, the cap. And this is all quarter inch wall. <clears throat> it's easy to weld. You've got to uh, jump up to a 35 or 40 thousandths wire. And my welder, which I have a Hobart, uh, I forget which one it is here now, 190 maybe? Yeah, 190 handler. It likes it at, uh, I was doing some other touch up stuff here, but it likes it at 7 and 50 for the quarter inch. And it says that on the side panel. So. Um, that's what I've got there the angles nice. I mean this is nowhere near as high as it'll dump I just had to get underneath and do some some grinding here where I welded the uh, welded the bottoms of the uh, Angle iron in I needed to do some grinding and some touch-up But as you can see it's going to tip nice. There's about a foot overhang. This is a 12-foot trailer it's actually 11 feet, so with the one foot, it gives you a 12, 12 foot box. Um, this is that jack I got from Harbor Freight. It's, I think, a 60 inch. It'll go up higher. I just, it's a little sketchy. I don't want to, I don't want to leave it like that. But we got everything um, closed off real nice and sanded. Now, when I'm done with this, I'm going to go ahead and and uh, drill holes in the bottom for moisture and stuff like that to get out and I'm going to actually run fluid film on the inside channels but after it's painted um, it comes down as you can see there is supposed to be some rubber uh, bushings here we'll have to get those right now I've just got I think it's a quarter inch piece of wood stock there just to hold it off there is a area for a safety rod that will go in these here just keep it from uh, twisting and going inside when there's a load on it um, it's pretty nice as you can see she's pretty she's pretty good we put some nice heat to her today um, I'm really really looking forward to getting this done because I've got some some dirt and some debris that needs to uh, be brought in and debris that's got to be gone but uh, there you go people um, I'm still waiting on I got the mini excavator I'm still waiting on my bolts I messaged the guy today. He's supposed to be getting them for me. But that's the situation. Take a look at it. We uh, we got it all braced in the corners. This way here it doesn't rack or twist until I get the other beams in. And as you can see, um, this is the quarter wall here. I got two more pieces of this, two more six-footers. So this will go where the ram goes up in. And then this other stuff is just going to be to support the floor which it's still, I think, uh, it's a heavy, I think it's a little more than an eighth. So we'll have the two pieces in the middle where the ram goes, and then there's also these uh, heavy pieces of steel that go in between the, the uh, these are like half inch, and I'll actually weld that up. But these go in, in between the uh, two pieces of quarter wall, so when it's pushing on the, the box, it's not just bending one of the beams. It has to grab everything, um, grab the, the heavy-duty stuff. And, of course, there, I'm going to go with 10-gauge um, on the bottom and the sides. And what I believe I'm going to do is get them cut 6 by 4 so it's 1, 2, 3. And it'll be 12 feet. There will only be a couple seams that way. And then on the sides, it's going to be 2-foot sidewalls. I do have the super cam line actual uh, dump tailgate and that's in great shape so 
I'm thankful that the guy saved that. Um, but what had happened with this dump trailer is I guess he had it overloaded and it was a little, the metal was getting old and he bent, he busted it in half, the top part. So it needed to rebuilt. But I just wanted to give you an update. Um, I actually picked this up today at Harbor Freight. This, I know I have a few of these, but this Chief one, these are really, really nice. It's actually a better quality. And I think I paid 29 bucks for it because it was an open box and it's normally 60 bucks. So we got a deal on that. And with that deal, if you spend more than $30 as an inside track member, I picked up a free grinder. And let me tell you something, I put this baby through hell today. But you know what? It held up for free. So I couldn't have done it today without my uh, trusty fan. That baby kept me cool all day. And we fought the rain on and off. So there it is, people. As soon as we uh, get the bottom all tied in, and the next step will be to get the ram uh, in position to get it measured and then we will go ahead and get this baby the uh the bottom on it the deck and then we'll go ahead and, and put the sides on it and we'll be pretty much uh good to go but uh if you're not sure how you want to do it just remember people get you a uh get you a blueprint and go buy it you know as you can see i drew it out here you know so these are the two main the heavy beams and as you can see the the half inch steel goes in between them so as it's pushing it's actually pushing on both of these instead of just one when it's lifting and then uh this is going to be what the sides look like it's going to be two feet two by two uh square tube and i'm going to do a, a a rub rail on it so that i can and build my fenders right on it but uh you got to have a blueprint, people, if you want to do things. you got to have something to reference and go by. But uh, there it is. I got it um, all welded up, the main part, and that's the major step because you really look at it every day and you say, oh, I know i got to do that. But that's one of them things that you want to do when you can be by yourself and not have anybody bother you because you want to make sure that it, it turns out square. So, all right, this is Bry. i got to get on down the road.